Hello, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed participants, and fellow food enthusiasts. Welcome you all to our International Culinary Basics Quiz Program. This is series number six. Already we have come across with five series, and today we will be exploring about the series six. Myself, Bonapul Banerjee, is your host for this quiz. In this channel, Hospitality Education PPT. Friends, you all know that the culinary basics from the form the foundation of every great cook's journey. Whether you are a seasoned chef or a novice in the kitchen, mastering these fundamental skill is very essential. This quiz promises to tantalize your knowledge bank and challenge your culinary expertise. So, sharpen your knives, adjust your aprons and let's dive into the sizzling world of international culinary basics. I welcome you all once again. Let us explore some of these culinary cornerstones to these MCQ series of quiz. Remember, it is not just about knowing the answers, but it is about severing the experiences. In this quiz, you will be getting 10 sets of questions with multiple choice and all the questions here today will be based on true or false. So there will be one question. Accordingly, there will be option for true or false. You will be getting 10 seconds to answer the question. And once the question will be finalized, the answer will be finalized. Then, we will talk about the justification of that answer in terms of the feedback. So, that is the entire process. And without wasting further time in talking, let us explore and I welcome you all to the journey in the Hospitality Channel PPT. Here is your question number one on your screen now. The question is a very simple basic question. The primary purpose of heating the saute pan is to cut down on the overall cooking time. You have to find out within these two options whether it is true or false. You will be getting 10 seconds to think and answer accordingly and you can count your score as well. So your time starts now. Okay, the time is up. Now it is the time to know exactly the correct answer and also followed by the justification of the right answer. So your right answer is, this statement is false. Why it is false? Let us get the feedback for that. The primary purpose of heating the saute pan is to ensure that the food cooks evenly and quickly. By preheating the pan, it allows for better heat distribution and helps to prevent the food from sticking to the pan. This can result in better browning and flavor development. So that is the justifications. I believe the answer and the feedback is satisfactory for you all for you all and those who have given the right answer with the proper justifications, definitely I congratulate them all. And those who face some difficulties in giving the right answer or choosing the right answer, for them, my advice is to note it down 
with the justification so that your future reference it will be easy for you so let us proceed to the next question question number 2 will be on your screen now the next question question number 2 is socket match should be turned rather frequently during the cooking process to ensure even cooking again here are two options for you either the statement is true or false and you have to identify the right option for this statement time allotted 10 seconds and your time begins now well time is up and let us find out the correct option for this statement and the correct option is it is false why it is false let us check the justification in terms of feedback on your screen now socket match should not be turned frequently during the cooking process the purpose of sauteing is to quickly cook the meat over high heat and constantly turning it can prevent proper browning and result in uneven cooking it is recommended to only turn the meat once or twice during sauteing to allow for a nice crust to form on one side before flipping it to other side so that is the justification for it so whenever you are sauteing never go for very frequently turning upside down you just wait for sufficient time that your experience will tell you to form the crust then make it upside down and create the similar thing on the other side as well and that will give you the even color and ensure even cooking as well again i take the opportunity to congratulate you for the correct answers and if not it is correct on your part please note it down and learn the justification feedback given on the screen for your reference so let us proceed to the next question question number 3 will be on your screen now question number 3 says sweating typically uses a lower cooking temperature than that of saute as usual you got two options either this statement is true or false and you have to identify between these two options which one is correct for you of course you should have proper justification for that 10 second allotted as usual and let us start thinking is up let's check the correct option for this statement and this option is very much true why it is true what is the feedback let us learn that the purpose of sweating is to soften the ingredients and release their natural juices without browning them remember without browning them sauteing on the other hand involves cooking ingredients quickly over high heat with a generous amount of fat resulting in browning and more intense flavor so basic purpose of sweating and sauteing is different that is understood from this statement again i take the opportunity to congratulate those who have given the right answer with proper justifications in their mind and for the rest it is your reference please note it down and get ready for the future let us proceed to the next question question number 4 will be on your screen now question number 4 says coated saute pans 
are ideal for creating a nice crust on meat items. Two options, true or false, time allotted 10 seconds, it begins now. Your specific time limit is over. It is the time now to know the correct option for this. And the correct option is, it is false. Why it is so? Let us learn the justification. Coated saute pans, such as non-stick pans, are not ideal for creating a nice crust on meat items. A non-stick coating prevents the meat from properly browning and developing a crust color. Instead, a regular saute pan or a cast iron skillet would be more suitable for achieving a nice crust color on meat items. So, never do this mistake. Never use a non-stick pan. The purpose of non-stick pan is that cooking something and main idea is that it should not be sticking to the bottom or to the sides. But here, in case of sauteing, the purpose is different to develop the crust color on both the sides. So never, never use any non-stick pan for that. I believe the justification is very clear now in your mind. And now let us proceed again for the next questions. But before that, I definitely congratulate you all for giving the correct answers. And those who are not still fighting with it, please go through it. Refer it for future, learn it for your future endeavors. So let us proceed to the next question now. Question number 5 will be on your screen now. It says, recovery time is the amount of time it takes oil to return to the correct cooking temperature after food is added. You have to find out whether this statement is true or false. Your two options are there in front of you. Time allotted as usual 10 seconds and your time starts now. Well, Time is up and let us check the right option for this statement and the right option is option A that is true. This statement is true. Why it is true? Let us learn the justification as well. Recovery time refers to the time required for the oil to return to the correct cooking temperature after food is added. This is an important factor in cooking as it ensures that the food is cooked evenly and at the desired temperature. By chance, if you are not following this guideline, it may happen that whenever you are putting the food item into the oil, which has not yet reached the correct temperature level, there is a possibility that food will break. It will take more time for proper cooking so naturally, you will be confused about the texture, color, appearance and tenderness of the product if it is not followed properly. So it is very important to know that whether it is reached to the correct temperature or not. So whenever you are removing one batch of food from frying, wait for some time so that it recovers the actual time range and then you go for the next batch of frying or cooking. I think the justification is very clear in your mind right now, especially for the beginners. And I again congratulate you all for giving the correct answer for this question. And let us start for the next. Question number six will be on your screen now. Marinating is 
soaking an item in a combination of wet and dry ingredients to provide flavor and moisture. You are having two options. You have to find out whether it is true option A or option B is false. Time allotted 10 seconds for you to think and reply accordingly. Your time begins now. So 10 seconds is over now. Let us find out the correct option, whether this statement is true or false. And it says that it, the statement is very much true. Why it is true? Let us learn that. Marinating involves soaking an item in a mixture of wet and dry ingredients which helps to enhance its flavor and moisture content. This process allows the ingredients to penetrate the item resulting in a more flavorful and tender end product. You must have noticed these basic things always you do in the kitchen even in your home style of cooking also. We apply some ingredients that may be dry in nature, may be wet in nature, keep the mixture and uh, ingredients to be marinated together, mix it well and keep it for a definite period of time. And the purpose is to develop the flavor, to develop the taste and color of the product. So that is the justification. So this statement holds very much true. I congratulate again for the correct answers and those who are still fighting. I believe there is no such one. Still, those who are fighting, for them, it will be a future reference. So, let us proceed to the next question now. Question number 7 on your screen. Learning means to insert long thin strips of fat into an item before cooking to add and maintain to moisture to the interior of the item being cooked. I repeat once again, learning means to insert long thin strips of fat into an item before cooking to add and maintain to moisture to the interior of the item being cooked. Two options. Option A, true. Option B, false. You have to find out the right option between these two. Time allotted 10 seconds for it. Think and reply accordingly. Your time begins now. is up. Let us find out the correct option for this statement and it says it is true. Thank you very much those who have given the correct answers and let us now learn what is the justification behind it. This process helps to add moisture to the interior of the item being cooked and helps to maintain its juiciness during the cooking process. Therefore, the statement that learning is done to add and maintain moisture to the interior of the item being cooked is very much true. If the meat is lean by nature, this process is very much adopted. Learning, which means inserting a strips of fat by using a learning needle inside a lean meat so that while roasting or grilling, that inside fat will melt and keep the meat soft and juicy. It won't become dry. So that is purely a technical process which is done specially for the lean meat and as a budding chef, it is our uh, it is our scope to learn exactly why lading is to be done. So. Let us proceed now for the next question. Question number 8 on your screen now. Allow 
allowing cooked meats time to rest allows the natural juices which are being drawn out to the edges of the meat during the roasting process to return to the center of the food item making it juicier when cut i repeat the question once again for you allowing cooked meats time to rest allows the natural juices which are being drawn out to the edges of the meat during the roasting process to return to the center of the food item making it juicier when cut your options are in front of you true or false you have to identify the correct one for this time allotted 10 seconds and it begins now so allotted time is over time to know exactly which one is the right one and the right option is it is true try to understand this let us learn the feedback During the cooking process the juices are drawn out towards the edges of the meat by allowing the meat to rest the juices have time to move back towards the center and resulting in a juicier and more flavorful meat when it is cut allowing cooked meats to rest after cooking allows the natural juices to redistribute within the meat So what we do exactly whenever the meat is grilled let us take that example first we never after grilling we never serve it immediately from the griller to the table why the basic reason is that whenever the meat was on the grilling process the tendency of the juices to come out to the surface of the meat as a result the inside part of the meat becomes partially dry now after grilling is over if you rest it for few minutes then definitely what will happen these external juices which they came to the surface of the meat they will again go back to the center because of the surface tension and as a result what will happen the meat after grilling is not going to lose the excess juices and it will drain back to the center of the meat and as a result the meat will remain very juicy and soft once it is cut after proper grilling so never serve the food immediately after grilling to the table definitely you take some time so that meat will be on rest so that your juices will turn directions to the center towards the center and automatically the meat will remain juicy for some more time so that's the basic reasoning for this statement i believe many of you or almost all of you have given the correct button for this that is the true and i congratulate them all for this right answer let us proceed to the next question question number 9 on your screen now standard poaching is a last minute cooking method best suited to food that is cut into portion size or smaller pieces i read it once again for you standard poaching is a last minute cooking method best suited to food that is cut into portion size or smaller pieces you have to find out whether this statement is true and false you are having two options in front of you option a and option b time allotted as usual 10 seconds so properly think and click to the right answer your time begins now okay time is up and as usual you should know the right option for this and the option is false why it is false 
let us learn the justification as well standard coaching is not a last minute cooking method but rather a slow and gentle cooking technique that involves submerging food in a liquid and cooking it at a low temperature level it is typically used for larger cuts or larger joints of meat or whole fish as it helps to retain moisture and flavor so remember poaching is not a last minute cooking process it is rather a slow and gentle cooking process in a lower temperature level i congratulate again for giving the right answer especially those people and if you are not in that bracket definitely you will learn this learn the logic learn the science behind it and get ready for the next question question number 10 and it is your last questions for this set ragu is the french word for stew that means restores the appetite you have to find out whether it is true statement or false statement two options are on your screen now 10 seconds allotted for this and your time begins now good your allotted specific time is over now let us find out the right option for this first and this option is absolutely true that means it means ragu means it restores the appetite ragu is a french word for a stew that means restores the appetite there is no other justification it is just the french word and it is normally talking about the excellencies of the word ragu that is a stew restores the appetite if you are loss of appetite you can try ragu will get back your appetite because of the unique taste of ragu it's a kind of stew and very healthy product so with this we are coming to the end of this quiz i believe that you have enjoyed the session and this youtube channel will be there in youtube available in youtube many times you can refer it back and refresh your mind by checking your knowledge challenge yourself and hopefully this kind of practices will keep you on your toes about your knowledge and you can always check it is a ready recorder it acts like a barometer whether your knowledge is up to the standard or not if your basic is very clear or not if the basic is wrong you are having a wrong idea in your mind then you are getting the opportunity to exactly know the correct logic and correct science behind it so that is the main endeavor and the objective behind this total session and now at the end we are on the other side of the river so new star has born those who have given all the correct answers i congratulate them and let us check your feedback if you have scored between 90 to 100 you are excellent if you have scored 80% then definitely your knowledge is very good and if it is 70% then you are at the level of good and you are having enough scope to upgrade yourself in terms of knowledge definitely i am not talking about the skill out here skill you can practice in your practical lab when you are getting the opportunity and similar situations and implement this knowledge is there while working so if you have liked this session don't forget to click the button or the bell so that you get the reminder subscribe it and also like and share for your friends and colleagues for more popularity of this particular channel through which you can always 
upgrade and shine your knowledge bank. So keep learning. I commit that again I will come back very soon with another one exciting lesson like this. A quiz it may be or another exciting lesson for you like I am doing it in this particular channel. And let us create a bond. If you are having any comments, don't forget to put your comments here in the comment box. Or if you have any questions in your mind, please put it in the comment box. And I commit here that definitely I will get back with the correct answers or I will justify your queries in a positive way. So it is the time to say goodbye. We will meet again very soon in this particular channel that is Hospitality Education PPT. Thank you very much. We will meet again.